Hey everybody, my name's Steve and welcome back to the Command Center. Now today I have a little bit of a special one again for you. Uh, we've been running this channel for about a week so far and we've already reached over 20 subscribers. Now, that might not sound like a lot, but that's a lot for a week. And uh, considering that I'm making this channel for you, uh, it's awesome to know that uh, there's actually people here who are interested in talking about Warhammer, talking about tabletop strategy, and talking about, you know, just Warhammer and gaming in general. And uh, so I'd just like to take uh, some time out to personally thank you all for subscribing to the channel. And uh, like I said, I'm creating this channel for you. Um, so you will be rewarded. Um, I'm going to do another video and we're going to have a talk about some prizes and competitions that I'm going to be running. We're going to be doing uh, some giveaways, just general giveaways. Every month we're going to give away Warhammer. I will also be doing some painting tutorials and I will be giving those models away that I paint for armies that I don't play so often, such as Orcs and Dark Eldar. And we're also going to have painting competitions. So the higher the channel grows, the more the channel grows, um, the more expensive, the more valuable the prizes will be. So once we reach about 100 subscribers, I'm going to go through, we'll just do start doing box sets and stuff like that. I'll give away box sets. Um, it's basically, look, as I said, it's just a thank you from me for subscribing to the channel. Now, you will need to be subscribed uh, to reclaim the reward and comment on the video as well. So, but well, look, I'll make another video formally about this, but I just wanted to say thank you once again for subscribing and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really touched that there's people out there who are interested uh, in what we have to say here about the, about the hobby. Now, on with it. Today, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be taking you through this, this contraption here. Now, this is a Spraywork painting stand set. All right. Now, I, I picked this up yesterday. It was kind of like a random purchase. I've, I've currently, I currently use a few systems of, of, of stands for painting. But what kind of st struck me about this was the fact that not only could I use it for airbrush uh, rotation while I'm, to hold my models while I'm airbrushing, but I can also use it as a display and for YouTube purposes, I can actually use it to, uh, when I want to display some finished miniatures or display your miniatures if you want to send them in or take some photos or whatever. Um, we could basically put them up here on this stand and I can actually use a little stick and it's kind of like a little turntable. So I'll do some test shots a little bit later in the video and we'll see if we can uh, get it going and have a look. So yeah, look, once again, thank you so much. You know, it's over 20 subs in one week is huge. I, I wasn't expecting that to be honest. I wasn't expect expecting anyone to subscribe. I'm making this channel just because it's fun and I thought I had something of value to share with the community. And uh, I know you guys have, you know, a lot to, to teach me as well. So, you know, once again, if you ever, if you ever want to contribute to the channel or have a suggestion of a review, or you think there's a better way that I can do something, better way assembly, better rules reviews, better lists, better way of doing things. We had someone the other day, a gentleman named Daniel, thank you, Daniel, recommend to me over Facebook, uh, some alternative glue to, to this super glue here. And uh, I'm going to check that out. I've got it on order. We're going to go through that. We're going to do a review. Uh, but yeah, all right. So the uh, spray work painting stand coming right up on the channel. Let's check it out. All right, wonderful guys. So what I think we'll do with this video, I'll just unbox it in front of you. We'll have a look through the contents and then I'll switch camera angle and we'll basically have a look at it in application. Now, just an important note with spray work. Okay, so spray work's part of the Tamiya range or the Tamiya range or however you want to pronounce it. Those guys do some pretty wicked products. Now, not many people know about the Tamiya range. Tamiya range is essentially a fine scale modeling range it's old school. It goes back to like the tank modeling uh, art forms and, you know, planes and things like that, like the classic traditional model sets. And they do some fa fantastic gear that expands upon outside of the Citadel Rangers. We're also going to look at some of the airbrushes later as well. There's, um, there's a Spraywork Precision airbrush, which I own. I lost the nozzle for it. It fell down the sink 
when I was uh, when I was cleaning it. And it's a very very fine precision airbrush, especially awesome for painting miniatures. You know, namely Warhammer. All right, and uh, we're going to have a look at a few of their products. Also, their airbrush cleaners, things like that. They also have some pretty sweet metallic paints as well. You can mix them around, clear paints. But look, we'll get into that uh, a bit later. But uh, one of the tools here right now is a Spraywork painting stand set. Okay, now it's actually pretty cool. All right, so you've basically got, there's two modes for it. There's the dais mode, which is kind of like this turntable. And uh, I'm imagining I've never used this before, so hopefully it's going to be good. And, you know, I'm thinking like you can put your model here. You can also put like sticks up here. You can put sprues up here as well. I'll just grab, you know, something to point with. So, uh, so basically, you know, you could stick your little things in here. You can stick stuff up there to prop the models up as well, which is really cool. And this, this, this dais actually rotates and it, and it actually rotates. You can actually rotate down the bottom. Uh, I was kind of playing around with it and you can actually push it along like that and make it spin as well. Now, really it's there so that you can, you know, have easy access to your, uh, to your, to your, to your model while you're airbrushing, while you're painting. Um, but you know, you can also use it as a display turntable as well for video purposes, which is primarily what, uh, what I'm going to be using it for. Now, this one here, it was like $29. Okay. So where I picked it up from, which was Hobbyco, I'll have a look later. I'll see if they're on Amazon. If they are, I'll chuck a link down below and you can, you can grab it from there or chuck it out on eBay. I'm sure they're available everywhere. Uh, okay. And then in the second mode, is just kind of like this pin mode here. All right. Now this pin mode is, is going to be really good for your, your actual infantry or your, your smaller sort of models, uh, you know, to sort of display it on. And this is, I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be better for sort of like your vehicles. So if you're doing up like a land raider or you're doing up a predator or something, I've got a predator here and we're going to, we're going to have a demo of it once I set it up. Now, hopefully it's not too hardcore to set up, but, um, so let's have a look here. All right, so just unbox this like that. And you can see here that it's pretty simple. This looks like it's the it's a stand here. Just let's get a grip on this. I don't want my custodes flying off the table. I'm just gonna move this here and just unbox this like that. Oh, that's that's awesome. Okay, so these these do come down. I was wondering um, because when I saw it when I saw it in the shop and when I saw it in the box, see here you've got those clamps and it shows there's a limit limited range of movement there. I actually don't want those clamps on there. Uh, I, I'll actually use some blue tack or something like that, or super glue a magnet on there, or some something like that, so I can actually just stick my models on there. Um, look, I'll be honest with you, I, I'm not going to paint models like this uh, with this. I look what I do when I'm when I'm painting models, and again, this this will be another tutorial. I'll just grab like random custode number five or whatever. Um, I'm, I basically just get a bit of glue tack. All right, and stick them here and stick them on there like that. I just use like some, you can use a cork, you can use like anything you want really and just glue tack it to the base. And that way you go around and you can just like work your way around it like that. All right, I, I wouldn't use, I wouldn't use something like this, um, you know, because it's just, you've got a lot of, there's too much, you know, sometimes you got to get under there and around there and everything. So it's actually, it's actually too much hassle and you can, you can um, you can stuff things up. It's really hard to get into those fine areas. Um, so I, that that's actually my technique. It's a little bit old school. It's a little bit ghetto, um, but uh, but that's the way I do it. There's also this device here, which you can get from Citadel. All right. Now, as you can see, it's pretty pretty clean. I don't use this very often. I bought it. Uh, I think it was like twenty five dollars at the time. Uh, I'm not sure if Citadel still do it, but uh, you know, I'll check it out and put a comment in the uh, in the notes to, to see if they still do it or not. But uh, it's kind of like a gimmick. It's one of those, you know, sort of like Games Workshop gimmicks. Now, there's nothing wrong with it. I know a lot of people do use it, but it's not my bag, and I'll explain to you why. All right. The reason is I'm one of those. Whoa, I'm one of those people that uh, that basically like to uh, to to paint the base. All right, separately to the model. So that way, when I paint the base separately to the model, I could get into like all those resources and things like that. Okay, in there. Now, the problem is with this guy is that 
if you are like me and you do that first, then what happens is when you go to put your model in here, I mean, number one, if it's anything bigger than a 25 mil, right, it's really going to stretch this up. The problem is, is that you put this guy in here. I mean, I don't even know if it's going to fit. All right, it does fit like with extreme like pressure. The problem is with this is that you go through and you literally chip apart your base. You wreck the the actual surface of your base, all right? And then you also will wreck, you will strip, start to strip the paint off, okay? And also, you know, look, I mean, look at this. It's, it's really hard to like get in there because you've still got this dais, right? So not to get too much into this in this video, but that's the reason why I don't recommend this and I don't use it. And it's simply because when I paint, I like to sort of go around the model and get into areas that I usually can't get to without this kind of stuff getting away, not to mention actually damaging the model itself, okay? So that's that's just that. And you can see here, I'm gonna show you here, hopefully you can see this on the camera, but I've, I've literally just had that in that vise now. And look here, look, I've already got damages here, right? Look at that damage here, like where I was holding it, right? So the thing is, is basically that like, imagine now uh, this, was, this was paint as well, okay? Um, so it's it's not that it's critically bad, but you're kind of wasting time. And one of the one of the key things to paint miniatures, I find, especially if you're like myself and you don't have much time, um, you you need to be mindful about you know repeating processes. So you should be looking at your workflow when you're painting your minis and you know streamlining it so that you can get more done in the periods of time at the higher accuracy that you want to be doing right you want to spend your time practicing your core skills all right you don't want to spend your time correcting errors correcting mistakes and things like that so like i mean even this guy here you know you can go through stick some glue tack on the bottom all right there's there's a hundred in it bang stick it on there, and i can i could get in there i could do whatever it is i want Okay, I could get in there. So that's that's the reason. That's what I'm using this for. It's basically just a display stand. All right, get my custody out of there. All right, cool. We'll continue on with the uh, unboxing and the review. So let's see if I can get this out. I'm just gonna. Oh, okay, so that just comes off really easy like that, which is fantastic. And looks like I've got these these little clamps here. So I'm just gonna have to jimmy these out, which is fantastic. And like I said, look, I'm I'm. I'm going to end up removing these little clamps anyway, I think. Um, this is more for fine scale modeling um, in terms of, you know, tank kits and things like that, general kits, not so much for wargaming and Warhammer. Um, but, you know, and that's great too. You, you'd be surprised most of the skills when you see those super prof professional Warhammer painters and everything, that's where they mostly learn their skills. They come from uh, fine, fine scale modeling. Um, I'll be honest with you, like, you know, when you go watch those GW tutorials and things like that, they're okay for beginners, but they're not going to teach you like the real stuff. They make a lot of mistakes in there as well. So, um, so okay, there we go. So that's that. Uh, can I get these two? Oh, okay. So these little pins pop out and then you can like place them down in, in different positions which is cool, I guess. And then, or are oh, they like locks? So you can just take it out and then you can, you can just have these swivel. I don't know what that is gonna hold though. Like I can't, I can't really see this holding much at all, to be honest. So, but anyway, um, it is what it is, right? So let's put that down here. All right, and then, and take this guy out. Now here are your clamps, stock stand, standard clamps. Those will come in handy for something. Just chuck that over there. Uh, and here's your here's your platform, here's your dice. You see here how it actually rotates? So this is gonna be really awesome for me because I, I'm gonna put my camera like on the table and then like cut this bit off and I'm just gonna like sit there with something and just be like, and just like rotate it around. So, hey guys, look, if there's anyone there with another YouTube channel, uh, maybe that's a tip for you, you know, you might be able to do that, or maybe you just wanna cut some show reels to show your mates, or, you know, for whatever reason, I just thought this is a really handy tool. And here is the, uh, here is the device with the, uh, with the, uh, on, on the turntable like that. So if you look here, I can even probably just push it from here. Or actually down here, look, I can just push it from here like that. 
you know? So yeah, we're gonna do a bit of a test later on, see how it looks, right? And I'll spin it around on the table. Uh, so let's uh, have a look, do I have any glue tack here? No, I don't, but I've got sticky tape. All right, so I'm not gonna put my custode on there. I'm just gonna put him on there again. All right, and I'm just gonna turn that around like that. Pretty cool. All right, obviously you need to fasten him there with something. So you could probably even like click, cl uh, clip that to the thunder hammer if you wanted to. All right, so he's, that's like, he's kind of like his little cage there. He's, he's not really gonna, gonna leave that position. Um, yeah, pretty cool little device. Pretty cool, pretty cool little device there. Um, all right, fantastic. Let's try the other one now. I always use this Terminator. I actually want to really paint this, this Space Wolf Terminator up. I just love the Space Wolf Terminators. I have a whole army of Space Wolf Terminators and I keep wanting to just paint them, but you know, I've just got so much to paint, so much to do. If you see on my channel, you see all those boxes in the background. It's like, that's all, they're all minis. And I got shelves of stuff that's just unassembled. But uh, I sure. Oh my goodness, wow. Holy crap. Check this out. There's actually two of them in here. Wow, that's amazing. So I, I thought, I thought that, you know, like you had to take one off to put one on. And, uh, you know, Emperor be praised like it's, it's actually two separate items. All right, that is fantastic. Really, I think that's like pretty good value for money right there. Chuck that over there. So basically, and then you got your instruction manual, but... You know, I don't think we're quite simple jack here. Uh, I don't think we're gonna need it, but you know, if you do, it does come with a instruction manual here. And uh, there's a few tips actually on how to use it, which is pretty cool. So you can see here, um, you know, you've got the car show. Like I was saying before, we can see here how these this vice would come, or these clamps, as uh, correct myself there, these clamps might come into play when doing traditional modeling with stuff that's a little bit uh, higher in scale than Warhammer. All right. So that's essentially that one. And then and again, look, I can just turn it. I can just turn that around for you. It's all good. All right. Now, clearly it's a little bit overkill for my custode, right? But I can put him up there. And just be careful with these two because um, the custode, I don't know if anyone's ever ha has a custode army, but those, um, those guardian spears, they're like the first thing to break ever. Like I reckon... Aside from like those little skulls up the top on the Death Watch and and the um, and the uh, also the Grey Knights, you know the, the uh, Paladins, you have those little servo skulls. Um, yeah, these things just like snap. Like I've I've had to I've had to go through and um, I mean look at that. That's 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 pretty fantastic. You can just grab it from there, and you can actually see the miniature itself. You know, sort of going around which is pretty cool. And this one's all right. We can actually probably like get a few custodes on there. All right, which is be pretty awesome. You know, get a few custodes. All right, here we go. He's got his guardian spear. Get the, get all the brothers out. All right, we don't want them. And that's not all of them. There's more of them. But um, and just turn them around. You know, I, I will do another one, um, you know, we, on, a, on a better angle, but I'm just playing with it now here. I think this is actually pretty fantastic, and I think that uh, I'm going to use this for some painting tutorials a little bit later. Um, I think it's going to be be really cool. Yeah. So, and I guess what we can do too, we can we can also get this one and then stick it up on top. You know, if you wanted to do something like that, we can also interchange these. So, if you wanted to use like this thing with the bigger the bigger base, you could do that. All right, which is pretty fantastic. So, let us just remove the custodian guard off the turntable and let's just see how it goes with a vehicle so i'm just going to put this predator up here now i've got the i've got the las cannons uh up in a box somewhere so i didn't bother getting those out this is just a demonstration it's not a showcase but uh we can see here how i could turn that around you know with a little with a little bit of uh tricky video editing um it could work now i mean look don't get me wrong there's probably you know there are probably a lot better ways to do this um, you know, but, uh, you know, for $30, I mean, come on, you know, that's, that's a pretty, pretty sweet price right there. Um, you know, 
And, and, and honestly, look, I, I'd rather be, uh, you know, send out a little bit of a prize to you guys or something like that, do a competition, than spend like $200 on some motorized, uh, you know, boxed, you know, motorized turntable or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So look, that's pretty much it. And uh, pretty much just works like that. You know, I think, I think we've pretty much covered it, everybody. Uh, yeah. So look, we might leave it there for today, but uh, look, it's been great. Thank you so much for stopping past once again. And look, thank you to my uh, existing subscribers. I just can't thank you enough. Stay tuned to the channel for details on giveaways. And I'm probably gonna do something as well where um, my first 100 subscribers will be shortlisted. So they'll get like a like more of a chance of, uh, of, of winning something because you know, I think that's pretty special to uh, join a channel when you know there's i mean let's face it there's so many more channels you can join so the fact that you subscribe to my channel is is really 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 awesome thank you and um and yeah so look if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel drop a comment let me know how i can improve the channel uh, click on the little bell icon down next to the heading there it really helps me out when you do that because it gives you the notifications and uh check out the dice rolling app from our sponsor playblast interactive the link will be down below all right, everybody, Steve here from Command Center Wargaming. You all have a fantastic day. I'll see you for the next video.